in this video we are going to solve this question I have on the screen which says that we should use Thevenin's theorem to find the current in the five points resistor of the circuit below so for us to do this we first have to calculate for Thevenin's voltage and then Thevenin's resistor then afterwards we draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit then we use that circuit to find out the value of the current in the 5 ohms resistor so let's go how I'm going to do this so to calculate for VTH I'm going to remove the 5 ohms resistor which is what the load resistor okay from the circuit so after removing the 5 ohms resistor I have the circuit to do what, what we have here so in that case I'm going to name this terminal as, as for terminal A and then B okay so after removing the 5 ohms resistor, then I can name what this open circuit voltage here as what VTH. Then I'll consider the direction to be in this direction. Okay. So from here, we are going to what consider the circuit what in loops so that what we can calculate for the what for the value of what VTH. Okay. So the first loop I'll take will be what loop A B. G H A. Okay, so you are going to what, apply KVL towards this loop. So with this loop, I'll take the positive direction of the current to be in this direction. Okay, I'll take the positive direction of the current to be in what in this direction. And then I'll name this current as what I1. Okay, so now let's continue. So we are going to apply KVL to loop a b g h a and okay we also see that what in a closed loop the total voltage should be equal to what the sum of what the voltage drops in that loop so with this loop here we have what the total voltage to what seven and that will be equal to what the voltage drops and looking at this circuit here okay because of this open circuit here the current i1 will flow through these two ohms and then flow through this three ohm because what when the current gets here, it's not moving in this direction, it will move in this direction. So the same current will flow through the two ohms and then the three ohms resistors. Okay. So now let's continue. So therefore, the seven volts will be equal to the voltage drop across the two ohms resistor and that would two multiply with I1 and then plus the voltage drop across the three ohms resistor that would three multiply with I1. So then we'll have what seven equals what five i one. So you can then divide both side by five. What divide both side by what five? So the five will cancel out. So then we'll have what i one to be equal to seven over five amperes. Let's write this down. So I have i one to be equal to seven over five amperes. Okay. Now, the next loop I'll consider, okay, the next loop I'll consider will be the loop CDEFC. Okay, so we're going to apply KVL to loop CDEFC. And in this loop, I'm going to consider the direction of the current to be in this direction okay so therefore any current moving in this direction in the loop will be what in the positive direction okay and then looking at this loop also okay looking at this loop also the same current here which our name was i2 will flow throughout these two ohms resistor and then will flow throughout these two ohms resistor also because of what this open circuit that we have here Okay, so doing this, we have what minus 10 to be equal to 2i2 plus what 2i2. The reason why I negated the 10 volts voltage source is that you have taken the general direction to be what in this anticlockwise direction. Okay, by looking at this 10 volts here, the positive terminal is here and then the negative terminal is here which means what current from this voltage source will move in the clockwise direction and that's the direction opposite to the general direction that we chose so therefore the current from the 10 volt is both negative so that's why I negated the 10 volt source 
So this will give us what? Negative 10 to be equal to what? 4i2. So I divide both sides by 4. Divide both sides by what? 4. Then this 4 will cancel out this 4. So I then we will have what? i2 to be equal to what? Minus 10 over 4 amperes. So let's write this here. So i2 equals what? Minus 10 over 4 amperes. Okay. So the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to apply KV or to the middle loop. Okay, which is what loop PC FGB. So I'm going to apply KVL to loop BC FGB. Okay, so one thing you should take note here is that because of what this pin circuit that we have here okay these two ohms resistor will be what will be short circuited okay these two ohms here will be short circuited because of what these two this what open circuit that we have here so we can then what exclude these two ohms here okay so we are not going to what include these two ohms here in this loop because what it has been what short circuited or we see that what no current what will be flowing across what these two ohms okay so now we are going to treat what the VTH what as what as a voltage source. Okay, you are going to treat the VTH as what as a voltage source. So you have what the VTH to be equal to what the sum of the voltage drops across what the loop. And you have what one voltage drop across what these three ohms here, and then you have what one voltage drop across what these two ohms here. Now let's calculate the voltage drops across what the three ohms resistor. We already know that the current in this three ohms resistor is about I1, so therefore the voltage drop will be what? 3I1. Okay. And then looking at this, you know the direction of the current to be in this, to be in this direction. Okay. So that what a positive direction of what? That loop. Because it is moving the same direction as what? As the VTH. So you have what? VTH will be equal to what? 3I1. And then let's look at the voltage drop across what these two ohms resistor that I have here. So with these two ohms resistor, you will see that what the current, the current will be moving what in this direction, okay, which is what the current I2, and that's the direction opposite to what to the direction of the VT. So you are going to negate what this current. So therefore, the voltage drop across the two ohms resistor board minus what two. I2 because what the current will be a negative current since it is moving in a direction opposite toward the current direction of what the VTH. Okay, so now we know the value of what I1 and then I2. So let's substitute it into what this equation here. So I therefore have what VTH to be equal to what 3 multiplied by 7 over 5. 7 over Five okay minus what two multiplying minus ten over four okay so when I do this this will give me twenty one over five plus plus twenty over four okay and this can be simplified here to be what five so then you have what 21 over 5 plus what 5 and let's see the value of this so that will give us what 46 that gives us what 46 on what 5 so that will be what the value of what vth okay so we know what vth to be got what 46 on what 5 volt okay so now that we've calculated for what VTH, we'll have to what calculate for what RTH. Okay, so now we are going to calculate the value of what the RTH. And to do this, you have to what short circuit all voltage sources and then open circuit all current sources. So with this circuit, you have what only voltage sources in it, which is what the 7 volt voltage source and then the 10 volt voltage source. So I'm going to short circuit these two voltage sources. That means that you are going to connect them positive terminal to what the negative terminal okay we connect a wire between them so i'm going to short circuit here also so after i've short circuited it we start out we have this circuit here so i'm going to name this 
say that's what RCH. So now you are going to calculate what the equivalent resistance or the effective resistance of what this circuit here, and that will be what Thevenin's resistance. So now let's look at that. So looking at this, you see that these two ohms and then these three ohms resistors what are in a parallel connection, and then these two ohms and then these two ohms resistors are also in a, in a parallel connection. So therefore, you have what RTH to be equal to two parallel three plus two, which is these two ohms here, okay, plus two parallel two. So this will give us what RTH to be equal to. 2 times 3 divided by 2 plus 3 and then plus 2 then plus what 2 times 2 divided by 2 plus what 2 so we therefore have what the rth to be equal to what 6 over what 5 plus 2 plus 2 times 2 which will be what 4 plus what 2 plus 2, which will be what? So, add 4 that. So, then we have what? 4 over 4. And this will give us what? 1. So, you have what? Plus 1 here. So, you have what? RTH to be equal to what? 6 over 5 plus what? 3. And let's see the value of that. And that will be equal to what? 21 over what? 5 ohms. Okay. So, we know the value of what? RTH and then we know the value of what? VTH. So now let's let's draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Okay, so now we are going to draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit, which means what we have reduced this circuit here to what Thevenin's circuit. So let's look at that. So you got what the VTH to what 46 or what 5 volts. Okay, so that was I have my 46 on Five volts here, which is what a PTH, and then we got what RTH to be what 21 over 5. So we have what RTH, which is what 21, 21 over what 5 ohms, and then we are going to what connect the load resistor here, which is what the 5 ohms resistor. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to what calculate for the total current in this circuit, okay. And then that current will be what the current flowing through this 5 ohms resistor. So I'm going to name this current what I. So when we calculate for this current I here, it will flow through this resistor here and then it will flow through this resistor here. So at the end, what we have solved for the what current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. So let's, let's look at that. So now that what voltage equals what current times what resistance. Okay, I know the voltage here and then. We have what two resistor values here, so we will have to what, find what equivalent resistance. So therefore, what, you have what R to be equal to what 21 over 5 plus what 5. So let's see the value of that. So that will give me what 46 over what, 5 ohms. So that was the effective resistance for what, this circuit here. Okay, so now we want to find what current. So current will be equal to what voltage divided by what, resistance. Okay, and we know voltage to be what 46 on 5, and then you know what the resistance will be also what 46 on 5. So that what the voltage divided by what the resistance, which is also what 46 on what 5. Okay, so let's continue. So from this side, so from this side here, okay, you have what the carrying to be put what. 46 on 5, then you are going to reciprocate this value here. So that what times what? 5 on what? 46. So this 46 will cancel out this 46, and then this 5 will cancel out this 5. So then we will have what? I to report to what? 1 ampere. And that will be the current flowing through the 5 ohms resistor. 